And who are these people? We see them every week near our studio. The answer truly surprised us and will truly surprise you. Uh, now to something that's uh, had us curious here at Sunrise for some months. Well, I'm only just on today, so I've never been curious about it at all. But every <laughs> other week that I'm not here, yes, uh, we, they, notice a group of <laughs> students standing just a block from our studio, just over there. Now, they seem to have real purpose. We simply didn't know what that was. So in the end, producer Julie Tran decided to ask. She discovered an unlikely crusade bridging cultures and generations. Seven o'clock. Friday morning and Sydney is in a rush. So rushed, many don't even notice what is almost a parallel universe. Jesus, shine your light and let the whole world see. Every Friday, they're here. Now we're a bunch of people here standing in my place, worshipping the same Jesus. It's going to sing a little bit. Numbers vary, but the ritual doesn't. Sing with me how great is our God. A few things stand out. Their heritage, their age, and unlike the rest of us, they're in no hurry. Something that we're trying to do is to show people in the hustle and bustle that it is possible to be still um, and, and for us to, to pray to this God as we are still in the middle of this craziness. Yes, it's a prayer group, but one with a mission. Adrian Tam is 21. He says the location of their weekly get-together is no accident. I'm often in the city, um, and one of the things that I've noticed about Martin Place is that it's such a significant location. I mean, here you've got Channel 7, you've got um, high fashion, you've got Reserve Bank and everything, really. Um, and symbolically, it's such a significant place. And so we realise that for us to be able to stand literally in the middle of here um, and pray for the city is, is quite a powerful symbol. Dig a little deeper and it turns out the prayer group is part of a much bigger subculture. Here at Kirk's Place in Sydney South, hundreds gather every week to sing the praises of God. Many are new to Australia and are struggling with their identity. As a teenager, you turn towards uh, different avenues, you turn towards um, this, you know, alcohol, drugs, all that kind of stuff that you turn towards just to try to find your identity. That was until Sam Mack turned instead to religion. He's exactly the type of person Steve Chong is chasing. At just 33, Steve leads the flock, but in his own way. Where are the pews? Where are, you know, where's the cross? <laughs> and it's looking all pretty modern. We love that the church doesn't have uh, as, as many barriers. We want, we want young people to be able to just walk in and feel like, hey, this is kind of a normal building to walk into. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Steve Chong. I'm the lead pastor here at Kirk Place. For Steve, that message of connection is so important. Right now, he thinks we spend too long connecting on here instead of out there. It's something I'm so passionate about. I feel like People, young people particularly these days, they are just, they're craving relationships. I mean, you just, you just see it, they're, they're, and they're hunched over on their, on their computers all night on Facebook. Why? Because they're craving relationship. Ironically, it's thanks to social media that his group has become so popular. Word spreads, this is a place to make friends. We've seen a lot of people with Asian backgrounds here today. Tell us what it means to have them involved. And so it's been great to see them come together uh, and find some sort of community and belonging like that. Uh, and, and for them to realise that there's a lot of similarities in the way we think, in the way we do stuff. But like other religions, that similarity in thinking means there are limits to how modern this church will get. What happens, for example, when some of his young recruits reveal they're gay? What we'll do is the same as with anyone who's struggling with any kind of sin. We would walk with them and we would uh, validate how they're feeling uh, and that kind of thing. And so I think we would just continue to, to move people towards living in the way that God wants them to. Which is between a man and a wife. Correct, yeah. Moral judgments aside, Adrian Tam and Steve Chong are determined to be the new faces of Christianity. They're repackaging an old message and making it cool. Where do 
do you see the future of your church? The vision statement for Kirk Place is not just an Asian looking church, obviously. What God wants is a multicultural church for all nationalities and all demographics. And so we're kind of a, a small subculture of, of that big picture. My life, my Very interesting. Fundamentally, yeah. besides the religion, that is about helping new Australians assimilate yeah. and reaching out to people who are a little bit lost and are a little bit lonely. Which and is, and is wherever wonderful. you get it from, regardless of the religion, exactly. wherever you get it from, That's particularly right. this time of year, yep. slightly ironic that they set up outside Channel 7, which is quite possibly <laughs> the most unholy place <laughs> on earth, but it's, it's not. It, you know, it's, it, it has a, a lot of Hillsong about it, yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that church, doesn't it? And I spent eight months doing a story on mm. Hillsong for Sunday night and asked Brian Houston, who's the leader, yes. did he feel that he was um, targeting vulnerable people, you, you know, and say it might be new migrants to, mm -hmm. to this country, and he said, I hope so. I hope that it is vulnerable people yeah. who... Uh, you know, who mm. we can make feel as if they are mm. who part need a of the home community. And, and feel loved. And yeah. as you said, despite what religion you are, I mean, how can that be a bad thing for them if mm. they're yeah. happy and they're feeling like they are part of something? And this is this can be a particularly lonely time this time of mm. year. So yeah. it's mm. nice. At this I think it was just shallow of you to be praying for better ratings today than Andrew's <laughs> show yesterday. Yes, that was that was slightly uh, that's yeah. the praying to the TV god. Yes, so, so. and <laughs> another good time to mention Carol's at Kuji tonight. That's by the way, if you're looking for <laughs> exactly. some guidance yeah. in a family. <laughs> <laughs> Simon will be singing.